the question is tan theta upon 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta is equal to 1 plus tan theta plus cot theta. Okay, this is the one question. Also, it could be proved as it is equal to 1 plus sec theta cosec theta. So, it is two questions. It could be asked in this form or it could be asked this is equal to this. Actually, it's a merger of two questions. So, let us see how to solve this. A solution. See here. Tan theta upon 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta. This is what is given. Now, you know, cot theta is 1 upon tan theta. So, let us substitute this cot theta as 1 upon tan theta. So, if you substitute, it will be tan theta upon 1 minus 1 upon tan theta is equal to plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta. Now, let us take LCM of this portion. When I take LCM, LCM is tan theta. So, it become tan theta minus 1 upon tan theta. So, it will be tan theta upon tan theta minus 1 upon tan theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta. Now, here, the numerator and denominator, so there are do, numerator divided by numerator upon denominator. When such is the case, we apply a normal mathematical rules. So see, it is like this. X upon Y upon X. That means X is divided by Y upon X. So you can write as X is divided by Y upon X. You know, when division is there, you should take the reciprocal of this and multiply. it becomes multiplication. So X into X upon Y. So this becomes a reciprocal of that. So X into X upon Y. X into X is X square upon Y. So this denominator will go to the numerator and multiply with the numerator. So it will become tan into tan, tan square. So your thing will be tan square upon tan theta minus 1 plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta. Now if you see the denominators here, it is tan theta minus 1 and this is 1 minus tan theta. So this is having tan at the beginning and this is at the end. So you need to interchange this. So if you have to change, suppose I take a minus sign of this particular term, see, it will be like this. Suppose I take minus 1 minus tan theta. If you take minus 1 minus 1, tan theta, if you open the bracket, you go minus 1 minus minus plus. So minus 1 plus tan theta. So you can write this minus 1 afterwards. So it becomes tan theta minus 1. So you need to take a minus sign. So because you need to take a minus sign, this sign will change. So it will become tan square theta upon tan theta minus 1 minus tan theta minus 1. Now we have made the denominators same. So denominator is same. That means the numerator is tan square minus cot theta. So it is tan square theta minus cot theta upon tan theta minus 1. Now, again, cot theta is what? Cot theta is just now we have found 1 by tan theta. So let's substitute it as tan square theta minus 1 upon tan theta upon tan theta minus 1. Taking LCM here, Again, it become was this was cot theta here, so I substituted one uh, cot theta is equal to one upon tan theta. Now taking LCM, it becomes it becomes tan when you multiply here. This becomes tan raised to three theta minus one upon tan theta. Yeah. Now this one is a denominator. This is also a denominator. So these two denominators should multiply. See, let me explain. X upon y upon z. So that means x is divided by y upon z. So x divided by z upon 1. Okay. So x upon y is divided by z. That means x upon y divided by z. When division is there, it becomes multiplication sign and takes a reciprocal 1 by z. So it becomes x into 1 is x and y into z. y in z multiplies. So the two denominators multiply. So this and this will multiply. So it will become tan tan raised to 3 theta minus 1 raised to 3. 1 raised to 3, I'm sorry, this one is a mistake here. 1 raised to 3 on tan theta into tan theta minus 1. So 1 raised to the 1 can be written as 1 raised to 3. So I'm using a raised to 3 minus b raised to 3 identity. That is a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square. That is the identity. So here a is tan theta and b is 1. So it become tan theta minus 1, tan square, that is a square tan square plus a into b, that is tan theta into 1 is tan theta 
0 into 1 plus 1 square. That is B is 1, so 1 square. So tan theta into 1 is tan theta only and 1 square is 1. So it will be so tan minus 1 into tan square theta plus tan theta into 1 plus 1 square upon tan theta into tan minus 1. So this will cancel with this. These two brackets will go. We are left only with this, which is tan square theta plus tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta. Okay. Now, let, this is a denominator for all these three terms. So let us break it up. So when you break it up, it will be tan square theta upon tan theta plus tan theta upon tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta. So tan square theta upon tan theta plus tan upon tan plus 1 upon tan. Now, if you see here, this tan, one of the tan, because this tan square means tan into tan, two times it is. So one tan should get cancelled. So one tan gets cancelled, one tan remains. And here, this both will cancel. So tan theta upon tan theta will be 1. And 1 upon tan is caught. So it becomes, this is only one tan remains, plus 1 plus cot theta. Okay, so this was the answer we wanted, but they wanted in a different way, slightly rearrange it. So your cot theta, 1 upon tan theta is cot theta. So to this so tan theta upon 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta is 1 plus tan plus cot. This is what, so in some questions it is asked, this is what they want you to prove. Therefore, the sum terminates here. But for the second part, now we take this portion. So here what we do, tan theta is sine upon cos theta and cot theta is cos upon sine theta. So these two I'm going to substitute here. When I substitute here, it becomes 1 plus sine upon cos plus cos theta upon sine theta. Let us take LCM. LCM is sine into cos into sine. So this will multiply with this. So sine square plus cos square. It will become 1 plus sine square theta plus cos square theta upon cos theta sine theta. Now, sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, this is 1 upon cos theta sine theta. So, let us break it up. It will be 1 plus 1 upon cos theta into 1 upon sine theta. 1 upon cos theta. What it is? 1 upon cos theta is sec theta and 1 upon sine theta is cosec theta. So, let us put it together. So, 1 plus sec theta cosec theta. So, the these are two sums actually. This and this answer is expected in your NCRT textbook, and this is it could also be this. So and this was this had come in a um, board paper. It was stopped here, and textbook question is this. So see that you know how to proceed with the thing. Okay. So that is the answer.